Hey guys, welcome back. So, tonight I'm taking a look at the uh, insides of this record player, and uh, this is uh, a little one tube job here, which is kind of interesting. Um, so, you can tell this is not a, a high end machine here. Um, but surprisingly, the amplifier is actually attached to the motorboard like this. Usually, they would have them. Now down in here, and I had to get these knobs off, and I'll tell you right now, they were hell to get off, okay? But I finally managed to get them off without breaking anything, and you can see that they did a nice, lovely job here, just shoving these wires right across, right by the, the on-off switch here. That's kind of a crappy way of doing something. Um, this is going to be fun trying to get this whole thing taken apart, um, just because of the way it looks like it's designed here. Um, so, yeah, I can't believe they do a one-tube uh, job here. Sometimes they call these one-tube wonders, I guess. I don't know why the hell they call it that, but anyway. It looks like somebody's been in here monking around with it because this, uh, the, the tube uh, pins definitely are um, mangled up a little bit, or bent, I should say. So, the question now becomes, what is it going to take to get this thing serviced? Well, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a, a challenge because... Um, I need to be able to take, there's at least one screw here, it's a Phillips head, and then we got a flathead one over here, um, why, oops, come on, Mr. Tone Arm, get back on there, shame on you for getting off the, the Tone Arm rest. Um, and then there's some other concerns. Well, this is the uh, the only thing that uh, I need to get going as far as getting this working, but is this uh, cartridge here. I think this is a crystal cartridge. Um, and uh, I don't know if this is any good or not. Um, obviously, when I did test this thing, it just buzzed really loudly. Obviously, you know, because there are bad capacitors in here. That's funny because I did put this on a uh, on a record player uh, site on Facebook, and they always start telling me what's wrong with it. I was like, I already know what's wrong with it. It's just, you know, it's kind of describing to you that this is what I got and what I had to deal with. You know, this thing's really a cool little machine, but yeah. So I wonder if this whole thing just um, take this screw off and then that screw, and the whole thing just drops down. Let me uh, play around with this a little bit, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, we definitely got a fun little thing here to deal with and that is the selenium rectifier these things fail catastrophically so i'm uh, gonna have to probably figure out what its value is and and how to i've never had to change a selenium rectifier out and i really i'm a little nervous about doing that just because if i do something wrong i could end up messing some stuff up here so um, looks like we have uh, some sort of a big resistor here. I can't see the colors very well in it. My eyesight's starting to go, by the way, guys. So, and we have a white ceramic capacitor down there. And then way at the very bottom there, this is going to be a... Oh, this is going to be a bitch to get at. This may not be something I'm going to know. I don't want to know if I... I don't know if I really want to attempt to fix this thing. If I can, unless I can somehow get in and clip those wires out and then reload the, the capacitor somewhere else, but that's going to be a... I mean, how the, how the hell are you supposed to service this thing? Because if I, if I look at this, it's all one box here. How the hell are you supposed to service this damn thing? Turn the flashlight on. There we go. Oh my god. This is going to be a bitch to service. Sorry for the language, but oh my god. You're going to have to pull the selenium rectifier out. have to cut, get all these wires out of here. To get all the way down. What a stupid design. There's another resistor there. This has got to be a resistor. This is also going to be a capacitor, too. Somebody out there in the, in the comments will probably be able to tell. This is a capacitor or resistor. I need a schematic for this thing. That's what I need, but my God. And that tubular capacitor down here, this one needs to go too, obviously. I don't know if that's a coupling capacitor or what. It looks like it might be a coupling capacitor. And then we have uh, what appears to be a coupling capacitor here for the uh, for the pickup. 
And then down here, yeah, this is where the damn filter, the big filter one, the one that's dead. Um, the one that, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and waste time trying to reform this thing because I'm, it's good and still going to fail anyway. Holy cow. Ugh. Ay, 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 ay. I don't want to work on this thing. Oops. Shoot. I don't want to work on this thing. Oh my god. This is terrible. Oh god. I just, I cringe, you know, knowing that I have to go in here and clip and get down in there and, I mean, look at this thing. This is a, you got, oh, you got this damn, um, uh, oh, what do you call this thing? A, um, terminal strip here. Is that just, tell me that's a single, no, it's a multi-section electrolytic capacitor. Oh, this is, thing is terrible. Because how... I can't get that capacitor out of there because I'm going to have to drill this out. Um, I don't know. This is something I'm going to put out online and maybe I can get somebody to just do this for me. Maybe uh, a radio TV phone that would have... Maybe he'd have some ideas or maybe he would want to do it. I just don't want to deal with this. This is just going to be a headache. I thought this was going to be a simple little repair. Turns out this thing's going to be a more of a bitch than anything to work on. Oh my god, this is this is terrible. I don't, and I don't even know if this is any good. I mean, by the time I start repairing this damn thing, this is probably not going to even be worth it. It's a cool little machine, but still. You know, I'd like it to work again. I'd like to see this thing like sound and work decently, but I don't want to have to deal with all that stuff in there. Holy schnizzits. What the hell? Serviceability on these things were uh, definitely not thought of. Because I can tell you that right now. This thing ain't going to be working anytime soon until I can get this damn capacitor in there replaced. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that's... That sucks, man. Ugh. All right, well, hopefully somebody in the comments will maybe have some better uh, ideas on how to take this thing apart without having to uh, go through and strip everything out of here. You know, because I'm going to have to take this resistor, this you know, resistor or capacitor. This could be a bumblebee capacitor. And then we got that tubular capacitor. Then we got to get down there. I mean, I'm trying to find a way to just clip all these leads off of here and then reload the, the, the capacitor somewhere else. I really don't want to have to do that. Oh, shoot. I really want... I want to see this thing work again, though. That's what I want. Somehow, somehow, we got to get this thing working again. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to put this one on the back burner for now. And uh, we'll uh, address this thing after I've put this out on Facebook. And we'll see what we come up with. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon. Hopefully with some good news. I'm praying anyway.